Christmas Eve, everybody. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day and ready for the holidays. Hopefully you're more prepared than I am. Um, I got everything that I needed, but going out the last two days, actually, it's reminded me of 2020. There's no food on the shelves. Um, there's really no gas at the gas pump, so hopefully you guys are a little bit more prepared than I have been. Let's turn on some more lights. Just want to show you guys uh, just a quick uh, little bit of some animals. Um, I just want to say I appreciate the support on the channel and hopefully you guys are getting ready for 2022. Um, I have some things that I kind of have in the works for next year. Hopefully things uh, work out financially and uh, if we can find some really nice snakes. But I just want to show you guys how well this girl is doing. And this is the VPI Aztec, who I've been having issues with on her attitude. And handling her more and more, she has been doing much better. She kind of hisses a little bit when I'm kind of messing around in the rack system. And it agitates her a little bit. Sometimes if I have her out and I'm like moving my hands in front of her, she'll take a snap at me. But overall, she's... A thousand times better than what uh, she was over the last couple of months and when I got her so working with her has been um, definitely a challenge but it's been exciting and I've, I've, I've definitely enjoyed it and seeing the progress with her has been uh, very good but of course she's not a hundred percent perfect and I think she will be soon so gorgeous animal very strong feeding response. Um, and that's the one thing that I do like about bows. I know that uh, some ball pythons do kind of have an attitude here or there, but it is nice to have the bows because they do have um, different personalities, more personalities than I would say um, the ball pythons, even though the ball pythons sometimes have uh, better paint jobs. Um, but I just I do prefer uh, the boas in, in, in personality and in size and a lot of the other characteristics with them. So let's check out some more animals. She's actually doing very well, so I really don't want to put her away um, because we are having a very good handling session. And when you're actually bonding with an animal that has never really wanted to bond with you, it is difficult to uh, put them away. So, um, yeah, we see some watermarks, and we'll just follow the trail around the Pop-Tart. I thought she would have kind of just would have hung out here. But Pop-Tart is an interesting snake. So it's the female green anaconda, and we got some balloons in here for the holidays. And... Um, so she's like this snake really has a personality on her. She's sweet, she's gentle. She's very, very curious about everything and loves to just explore and honestly go to go into areas that I don't like her to go into, and I think she knows this. Um, so she'll find herself into the exact same areas that I don't want her to go into, and I try to move her every single time. Um, looks like she's found an area perched up on this shop vac, which is probably one of the best things that I have ever bought for the room because having carpet is a mess. Having bedding on carpet is even worse. So it's consistently cleaning nonstop. So beautiful animal. Figured the green theme would work for Christmas. Mountain Dew over here is looking good. She's eating very well. Uh, once a week, I really think I'm going to start, I don't know, I kind of want to give her two meals a week just to give her um, a little bit more size for her age since she was missing a lot of nutrients when she was, um, well, dying <laughs> a couple, you know, like eight months ago. But she's doing very well. And I think two small meals, very small meals a week uh, could work out for her. 
and then we'll go back to the regular uh, one meal a week and then space it out to two weeks and stuff like that. So I really wanted to show you guys the Argentine boa. Um, that's the one snake that I 100% have to hook out. And as I was tapping her on her head to let her know that I would be possibly getting her out, um, she started attacking the hook. So I really don't want to get lit up today. Um, I'm going to be feeding all of the big snakes tonight or tomorrow for Christmas. Um, and then post that for you guys as kind of like a Thanksgiving dinner for, for some of the animals. And they are hungry. They do need to eat. So I'm, I'm very excited about that. Um, nothing ridiculous is happening in here. All of the snakes are very healthy and they're doing well. This is the female uh, Mystic Potion. Beautiful animals. I, I, I think other than the pies and the clowns, these are definitely uh, one of my top favorites just because of the colorations, the patterns on them, the eyes, and I just, and when they get older, the patterns on the sides do tend to show a little bit more. So it is exciting. Uh, getting animals that get better with age because a lot of animals, their colors dull out. They don't look that nice as they get older. I know this is a favorite of a few of you guys. Her cage is not the greatest. She did have a shed. Not the best, but got her cleaned up and looking good. It's the Superfly Clown. Uh, so it is the Super Pastel Fire Clown. Um, mix it all together. Beautiful animal. I, I love the yellows and, and the stripes on her. And then the head pattern looks really, really cool as well. And then pretty much an all white belly. So if you guys are looking for really nice clowns, I would definitely suggest picking one of those up. And this lady right here, I love the patterns on her, the colorations. Uh, it is the Fire Enchi Yellow Belly uh, Pied. And um, I heard yellow belly is pretty tough to tell on some of the pies if you get a lot of stuff mixed in with them. But I um, got this from a pretty reputable breeder, so I, I do trust uh, the judgment on the genes in her. Um, who else do we want to look at really quickly? Um, all right, well, we're not getting any snow in Ohio this year, so... The only thing that I have to look at is the snow uh, boa, which is looking very, very beautiful. The tail is definitely getting whiter and her body is changing, I'm sorry, his body is changing to the more yellowy color, which is gonna look really, really nice as an adult. But I do need to feed these animals. Sometimes they, really like to <laughs> all right this is want to want to come with me all right we can we can go over here so we got pop tart on the move mountain dew really not doing very much and then uh the snow just kind of hanging out so very excited to get some of these uh meals in them tomorrow watching them grow Room is a wreck. I always say it's a wreck. It always is. <laughs> it's nonstop um, cleaning with these animals, and of course, having like I said before, carpet. It's not the best thing, but um, let me just plug this light back in since I unplugged it. I'll turn this on, and then. There we go. So the year difference, I mean, she did have a little bit of an issue at the beginning of the year. Um, but you can tell the growth spurt from just a year difference. And I would say I feed her um, minimal meals. Meals the size of her body. Um, although I think tomorrow I am going to give her a medium. I think she would do well on mediums. Uh, and, then, and then we'll go from there 
because I don't know. Have I, I think I've been giving her, I'll give her, I'm going to give her a bigger medium and see what she does because mediums are quite a variety on, on, on size. So we'll, uh, we'll see how she does. Both of these anaconda, anacondas are, you know, very great on temperaments and on their attitudes. I see a lot of people saying that they have some nasty anacondas, but I promise you, if you're getting into anacondas and if you get one as a baby, I would suggest getting it as a baby. Um, just make sure it is eating on something consistently. And if you guys have issues on the feedings, let me know. They're very, very stressful <laughs> to try to get them to eat. They're horrible eaters as, as when they're young. But if you put your time into them, like many other snakes, they are phenomenal and they can be one of the nicest animals that, that you own. And, and I can say the same thing probably about with berms and retics, although I don't own retics, I have watched uh, my friends with them on YouTube have some nasty retics in the beginning. They put a lot of time into them, daily interactions, and um, when, once you can get the trust on these animals, they are on these big on the big snakes. Uh, you'll have a lifetime of um, enjoyment with them, and I would say a lot of success on your journey with with holding. So I can pick up both of these really any way. Um, I do still tap them on the head when I when I use a hook just for precaution. Although I really don't think I would need it, um, but. I mean, I, I know I show them a lot, so hopefully you guys don't get sick and tired of seeing the anacondas. Like I said, I really wanted to get out the Argentine for you guys. She's a beautiful animal. I think after she gets a meal in her, she will calm down. And I think things will get a lot better with her. So a little update on this lady right here, when she's having that scale issue. Uh, she has not shed out yet. Um, and, and so it, it, it's not getting worse. Uh, I think it is getting a little bit better, but it's a fire uh, Enchi clown. So really excited for her to grow up and see what the possibilities of her could be. And of course I need to clean out all of these pages with the holidays, with work. I've just been extremely busy and a whole bunch of other stuff just dealing with it. And so I just need to take a solid like three or four hours in this room and just get everything squared away and clean. Um, I was going to show you... Okay, yeah, so I know I mentioned this in the last video if you guys are still around. So with, with the rack, it is a little dark back here, but I did get an extra um, extension type of thing, like the bar with, with the sockets in it. And I'm running the, the two... I'm basically running two probes on this through the winter time. So I split it in half. The top one top is on one probe and the bottom half is on another probe and it seems to be working out very well. It's not overloading the one probe and then the heat fluctuation with the, the hot air is rising. It's not messing up the, the, uh, the, the entire system. And so this way I can have the warm panels on the bottom warmer than normal. And then at the top I can, I can kind of turn down the panels a little bit since you know, it could be like 85 up here or 86 and then it could be like 82 down here. Like, like I'm talking about ambient temperatures. So then I can, I can raise the, the heat panels on the bottom and that way the snakes are getting the heat that they need. Through the winter time, I have not noticed any, I mean, it's not even really that cold in Ohio right now. It's like, getting down to like the 30s, I think, but it still kind of messes with the rim a little bit. And the humidity, so I got the humidifier, which is working phenomenal. Um, I'm, I'm noticing some better sheds with that, so I appreciate the advice. And um, I, hopefully you guys have an amazing Christmas, um, hanging out with friends and family. Um, if you guys don't have anybody to hang out with or talk to, let me know. Find me on Instagram, Ben Cincy Snakes. We can Talk about snakes <laughs> if you want to get your mind off things. I know things have been rough for the last couple of years. Uh, definitely this year and last year. But that is it.
and tomorrow's feeding video. And again, I appreciate the support and see you guys on the next video.